you're looking for a circuit that will protect you against over voltage conditions or under voltage conditions and you could use it for either 120 or 240 volts AC as shown in the schematic the way you see it here or you can use it for a 12 volt DC under voltage over voltage circuit. Now the schematic as you see it shown here was found online. I'll post a link in the video description area. In the event that your 120 volts drops to around 100, the relay will open, removing power to the load. Or if the voltage climbs above 130, then the same thing would happen. The relay would open, disconnecting power to the load. And it also works the same for 240 volt circuits. If it goes up to around 260, 270, the circuit will open the relay. And if it drops too low to around 200 or 210 volts, then the circuit will also open. Now the only thing that I did, there was a 10K potentiometer on this side as well. And because I was not using this for 120 volts, I wanted to make it very easy to use with a 12 volt system. So I put fixed resistor values here in place of the 10K. There's an 820 ohm metal film. And over here is a 12K plus a 200 ohm metal film resistor in series to give you a 12,200 ohms. This one you leave alone. The 10K would then be used more easily to adjust the values of the circuit. If you're going to use this for AC voltage, 120 volts or 240, the circuit would remain pretty much as you see here. This is the original outside of the potentiometer that I removed. For 120 volts, just take a 120 volt step down transformer to 12 volts. 3 to 500 milliamp output should be more than enough. Then you have a diode to convert to DC. It's not a full wave. Then you have your capacitor for smoothing out the ripple. And then it supplies power to the entire circuit. The way the circuit's designed, when one transistor is on, the other one's off. They alternate. As the, as the primary voltage decreases, it also lowers the secondary voltage which has an effect on the switching on and off of these two transistors. As the voltage climbs, it will have an effect on the secondary the same way. The voltage will then go higher, affecting the voltage reading at the base of these transistors, adjusting how they turn on and off. When power flows through this resistor, turning this one on, what happens at this point here, once this is on, current flows from collector to emitter, and then you lose whatever current was here, not allowing this transistor to turn on to trigger the relay. When there's not enough voltage at the base of this transistor, what will happen, this will remain turned off, and then you'll have voltage and current building right here, turning on this transistor, allowing current to flow through the transistor, turning on the relay. Now for the 120 volts or 240 volts AC, you're going to use a 12 volt relay. The line goes over to the common, and then the normally closed is your line heading to the load. This arrow here at the top goes to the neutral. So it's being switched on and off through the relay coil. If you're going to use 240, then you would just use the same setup. 240 volt primary winding, 12 volt secondary, and everything else can remain the same. Now to use this for 12 volts, ignore the hole outside with the transformer. The transformer's gone. The diode's gone. The capacitor's gone. Top rail goes to your 12 volt power supply. Bottom rail to the negative. And it's a very good idea to protect against transients or high voltage spikes to put a TVS diode from the positive rail to the negative across the circuit. I like to use a 28 volt. By using the TVS diode across the circuit, it should protect against any transients or high voltage spikes which may be encountered by the use of your alternator. And it also helps to have these high value resistors to further protect these transistors. Now the way I have it set up, this circuit will disconnect power to your 12 volt battery at around 10.3 volts. And full power will be applied to the circuit until around 15.6 or 15.7 volts is encountered. And then the circuit will open, disconnecting power to your 12 volt load. In the event you have a circuit connected to the battery and it's draining the battery down, once it reaches 10.3, the circuit will open. If the circuit climbs approximately three quarters of a volt, 
what will happen it will turn the circuit on again until it drops towards that 10.3 it will never go below 10.3 if it if it rises too high the voltage around 15.6 or 15.7 the circuit will disconnect unless that over voltage condition is corrected and the voltage drops below 15.5 the circuit will never turn back on so what I'm going to do now is demonstrate how well the circuit works alright this is the circuit assembled on a breadboard the left side of the circuit for the left transistor uses a 10k potentiometer and for the right transistor which controls the relay I used fixed resistors to create a voltage divider I have my Wavetech meter set on a continuity alarm setting and I have my power supply set at 12.53 volts which is right around the voltage of a fully charged lead acid battery. Let me turn on the digital meter. As you can see the circuit is already supplying power. Contacts are closed. We're at 12.53. Now to demonstrate, all I'm going to do is vary the voltage of the power supply and you will see at the point where the voltage gets too high that the relay contacts open, turning off the continuity alarm and you'll see the point at which when the voltage drops to a low level where the circuit also opens. So you're going to have a low voltage cutoff and you're going to have a high voltage cutoff. Here we go. Let's go bottom first. So your battery is draining and you want to make sure that you don't over drain the battery. Alright, so right around 10.3 and this is adjustable. I just like it in that range. Now in order for it to go back on, which is nice, it has to climb a little bit to go back on. So let's see how high it has to go. It was 10 point it was 10.3. Let's go higher. So right around 7 tenths of a volt it will come back on. So once the battery drains down it will have to climb up a little bit in order to turn back on. Now as the voltage continues to climb Say you have an alternator that's not doing a good job, the regulator's faulty, the voltage will continue to climb. And we're right around 14 already. 156 the voltage will be disconnected from the circuit that you're controlling to prevent an over voltage condition from damaging that circuit now if I go higher it's not going to make the circuit come on we're way up now 24 now in order to come back on the voltage has to drop so so that's right around where it that's right around where the circuit turned off from the over voltage. Now in order for the relays contacts to close to reactivate the circuit again, it's going to have to drop a little lower than the 1565. 1555. Once it goes up again, there it goes, shuts it off. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you for watching.